So we're going to start with weight shifting. So we want to find a, a position maybe just outside with our heels kind of just outside the shoulders, just a comfortable stance position. If, if we want to have a chair there to hold on to, that's great. If, we, if we're comfortable in our stance, that's good too. And so, what we, go ahead. Well, I'd say you start off by, if my left is my prosthetic side, so maybe lean to the right, lift up the yep. prosthesis first. Right. And we don't even have to go all the way to leaning, to picking the prosthesis up off the ground. If we're not comfortable in single limb support here, we can go, I always call it 98%, 2%. So we can put most of our weight through one leg and then we're going to shift back to the other side and do the same thing. If we're comfortable picking our foot up, great. If not, keep that toe down for balance. And we're going to keep shifting back and forth. What we really want to focus on as we're shifting is our shoulders here. We don't want to shift like this. This isn't the shift that we're trying to do here. See how far my shoulders are, are shifting when I do this? What we want to do is we want to shift this way without kicking our hip out as we shift over so our shoulders don't have to move through as much of a range of motion. If we're comfortable, we can even add a little bit of a knee raise. One of the things I kind of like to explain when we're doing these in the office, if you would watch, like say, while I'm ambulating and you try to keep track of like how long I'm on the prosthetic side, that'd be like one 1,000. Like you're on it for really less than a, a second when you're walking. So a lot of times when people are doing the weight shifts, if you're, and you haven't walked on a prosthesis and you're getting up on it for the first time and they're kind of intimidated to pick up that foot when you ask them to, but yet they're shifting their weight over to that prosthetic side for two seconds or a little bit longer. It's like, hey, you're doing that plenty for what you need to be doing for walking on the prosthetic limb. The other thing we're trying to really show is that we have the ability to hold ourselves up when our body is over just one side, especially if it's the prosthetic side. Um, we don't want to get into a habit where we're just kind of keeping the prosthesis out to the side and using it to hop across. So even though we're not walking, we're still using this to kind of get our bodies used to the fact that, yep, okay, my muscles can engage, I'm able to hold myself up for this second and then come back to the other side. And where this can be tricky, if you've been, say you're just getting your prosthetic limb and you haven't, you know, you had your leg amputated and it was like two and a half, three months ago, which is pretty normal for most people when they're first getting fit with the prosthetic limb. So when you're, st you're walking with a walker, okay, you have all this weight shifted to the center. And this is, you know, when you're using that walker, that assistive device to get around, you see how now you got to get used to, like Nate had mentioned, having the foot out, kind of shifting your weight over by shifting your hips and moving your weight over that prosthetic limb and not so much like, you know, keeping it out here because a lot of times the physical therapist will say, oh, get your weight over to the prosthetic side and it feels like you are and there's a little frustration and if we get people in the mirror, we'll say, oh, look at this right. and it feels, and I'll tell them, I said, does it feel really exaggerated? And it says yes, but then you can show them that's straight. Right. But you think of how your body has changed position by just balancing on that one leg for, so what I want everybody to do now is, you know, we were kind of, we started wide just to kind of warm up a little bit, but I want everybody to make sure you have something to hold on to if you need it. And we're going to go a lot more narrow. We don't want to be quite to the point where our feet are touching each other, but you know, we, we talk about like maybe two to four inches apart. So, so a nice narrow band of support there. And we're going to do the same thing, shifting. We can do the option like I'm doing right here where I don't pick my feet up. We can do the option like Scott is where he's picking his feet up. But we want to focus on that, keeping that narrow base as we are kind of coming back with two feet on the ground. And you could see if you're trying to balance on that prosthetic side, you know, I might have a hard time staying there for like three. It really just depends on how the, you know, three seconds, four seconds. But if I just have a couple fingers, I don't know if you guys can see this or if we can get the cameras on this, just this little bit does a lot for helping to maintain your balance for doing the exercise. So it's not like you need something really heavy to put your weight into, but just something to kind of just mm -hmm. to steady a little bit. But it, if you're struggling to do it, I recommend doing this because then you can really focus on those muscles firing in the prosthetic socket to try to balance yourself and really try to use your quadriceps 
but also your hips. You want to really shift over with your hips so you can drive that prosthesis into the ground and that's going to help with your balance quite a bit. So you say we don't have ankles and you'll learn to feel the ground forces and use your hips to compensate. So now we're going to do some with our, with our feet still narrow, we're going to go, we're going to all kind of shift together and we're going to start, we're going to do 10 fast and then we're going to do 10 slow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Everybody that tried that, I mean, the slow ones are obviously much harder than the fast ones, right? Does everybody agree with that? Why do we think? Why do we think that the slow ones are, are harder than the fast ones? Balance, yep. I mean, so we just have to spend so much more time with one leg on the ground, right, with the other one on. So those muscles, we can't, we can't just keep shifting and get off it. We have to get on there and hold. That hold can be the real tricky part, but that hold can be the difference between during a stumble, staying up or making that, turning that stumble into a fall. So we really want to focus on that hold for a second, hold for a second. And that's the idea when you're kind of doing these exercises, but do them fast also, like warm your body up, go through a little bit of both. 